Yeah, and then the, and, this, and this, that, that actual metaphor, exact metaphor was used in this, this kind of great kind of uh, riddle in, in Buddhism: Who is the biggest eater of all time? Because yeah, eating is this very kind of transgressive act, because you t because it, it, it dissolves the bound. Anything which dissolves boundaries is always transgressive. That's what that's what transgression means. And eating dissolves the boundaries between myself and other, which is the most basic boundary of all. Yeah? When we're a baby, the first thing we set up is we realize I'm here and mum is there. Yeah? And so eating transgresses that boundary. Something which is outside comes onto the inside of me. Yeah? And so whatever you eat, so this is why it's always the, the, uh, the Eucharist or the cannibal meal is always very important. So in Buddhism, the riddle is point, who is the biggest eater? Of all. Anyone know? Who's the biggest eater? No one's allowed to say my husband. <laughs> Time. Very good. Yeah. Time is the biggest eater of all. Time eats everything. Yeah. All of the great kings are eaten by time. All of the great cities are eaten by time. Even the planets are eaten by time. The stars, the universe, everything is eaten by time. But who eats time? The Arahant is the eater of time. Kala Gahata. Very good, isn't it? 